What's up guys? This is Truck Stuff. And in this video, we're gonna be installing a PPE relocate kit. Why? Because if you don't know, the Duramax diesel uses a car oil filter. Let me show you guys really quickly what we upgraded to. So, right here, that is the PPE filter. That thing is huge. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but because of how big this filter is, you're gonna to have to relocate this pump. And you guys will see, that's the new bracket from PPE that they supply. And you guys see the new hoses? I've been running this for over 5,000 miles now. And so far, so good. Let me show you one last thing here. You're gonna to have to get some coolant for this reservoir here because you're gonna drain that one out once you undo those lines down below. So that's just probably one extra thing. And you'll see all the tools needed in the video here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Releasing that hose clamp yep. right there. We've already unplugged the harness. Just one harness. We may not lose too much to cool it. Oh, we're gonna lose it all. Okay. I'm trying to get myself into a position where I don't make a mess all over me. Oh, uh, you're good. Want to pull it from this side? No. There she goes. All right. Just let that drain for a minute. Okay. All right, so we're pulling off the second hose. Empty. Try to get it broke free so it'll pop off there. Okay. There she goes. Okay. We don't have a huge mess. Nice. Yeah, so most of it's kind of that one line, so we're good. And Josh said that that was cold, so. What size uh, bolt was that? 10. All right, so there's a 10 mil we gotta. We're gonna have a couple of them. Alright, so that's out. So here's the bracket. We are... We might have to relocate. Really? The pump still has the mount in this. Okay. So we do have an oil bypass back there we might have to move, but that was done aftermarket, so... If you don't have that, then you're good. We're gonna have to relocate it. Okay.
So you're going to reuse those 10 millimeters. Yep. It did supply an extra nut. Yeah, because uh, this would go into a factory thread shirt into the other bracket. Okay. So, we give you a new nut to put on there. And then now we can, I want to get this kind of out of our way for a few. We'll get all the hoses and stuff hooked up on this before we uh, okay. find out where we're gonna relocate this to or how, because as you can see, we don't have a lot of room on our hoses. Okay. I was hoping we don't have to remake hoses. But let's get that extension harness and there you are. So yeah, there's an extension harness for the plug. zip tie it up to the lines after we get everything set. We don't want this flopping around. Okay. Get all new hoses and some clamps. Nice. Those are actually really nice hoses too, yeah, by the nice way. nice silicone hoses. Yep. They're better, not going to degrade. Better than what came out of here, for sure. Yeah. Let's see. Bada bing. So you guys can see that. Let me double check here. Which means this one. And bada boom. Okay. okay. So let's do this one first. Figure out where I want my. What I'm doing right here is just making sure that I have my hose clamps clocked in a manner that I want. Okay. That way when I go to tighten them, I can tighten them effectively. These things are already too tight. I'm going to have to already get a wrench and loosen them up. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. What we're doing is I don't like those worm clamps because for one they're the wrong size. Shame on you PPE. For two, the spring clamp hasn't lost its spring. So we're going to try and reuse the spring clamps. Make it look like a little bit cleaner install. Okay. Yeah, so I'll check with PB to see if they can get us better ones in the future so when they ship these out, they actually fit too. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put that other holes on here. They give you the right length, which is good. Oh, yeah, the hoses fit. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And like I said, they're definitely better than what came out of here. All right, so we just got done installing this PPE part. We're gonna have a link in the description. Everything's gonna be down at the bottom, all that good stuff. What this does is it relocates that coolant pump 
so that you can put that big massive PPE filter in there. Let me show you this thing, all right? So there is your standard PPE new high efficiency premium oil filter. Now let's throw this into comparison, okay? Some of you is gonna be a little bit shocked about this because this is the old style filter. Which is really big, actually. Compared to what's on there now, yeah, it's a little car filter. This is the PPE upgrade. Now let's throw you one more bone on this since we're talking about these filters. This is a Cummins filter, which has been standard, the biggest filter on the market, right? Not no more. We've got considerably more. Now we're going to do another video where we cut some filters apart. We're going to show you what's in the media and we're going to show you like the, the bypass pressure plate and all of that good stuff. You've seen these videos probably several times, but you haven't seen them on our channel. So we're going to cut some filters apart and we're going to show you what the media and everything else looks like on the inside. So stay tuned for that. But right now we're going to go get the new filters put in and we got to relocate the insane diesel bypass filter just a little bit just a little bit really that much hopefully we don't have to remake hoses and stuff for it, but that's okay we've got we got the ability to do that but stay tuned <laughs> 